Hey everybody, welcome to Barcelona Times once again. Hello my fellow coolers, welcome back to Barcelona. Latest news right here to discuss. So finally, Barcelona have qualified to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League after beating Napoli by 3 goals to 1. Barcelona, 3-year journey of not qualifying for the Champions League quarterfinals is over. Right now, in 2024, Barcelona have made it. We have qualified to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. And that is what we are here to discuss. What benefit will Barca get from this qualification? They have made it to the quarterfinals. We also discuss about Paul Kubasi incredible performance yesterday against Napoli, especially against Quaraskiria and then Victor Osimhen. You are going to hear a lot about that one too. So please, if today been the first time as a Barca fan and you want to get more Barca news, everything, then make sure please just take a second and subscribe to this my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to like this video because doing it will help me a lot in building this my small and humble channel. So let me show this video right here. So this video that you are watching is the time the team pass was arriving for yesterday game against Napoli. If you want to watch full video of it make sure you stay to the end because there i will show you four minutes of how the team bars did arrive for the match against napoli so now let's begin with today Barca news we have it right here as we begin today news starting from paul kubasi this incredible la Masia center back and this is a story we got on the side of paul kubasi from relevo and from relevo they said manchester city previously knocked on the door of paul kubasi but the player's family decided that he stays at barcelona so from relevo they said that manchester city a team in the premier league wanted to sign paul kubasi from barcelona but the player family kubasi family said no we we want our son to stay here in Spain. We don't want him to go to England. We want him to stay here in Spain. And in Spain, no anywhere than Barcelona. So Kubasi family were the one who prevented Paul Kubasi from a transfer move to Manchester City because the family want Kubasi to stay in Spain. And aside that, you know, Kubasi was the one giving Man of the Match award after his incredible performance against SSC Napoli. And then watch the video at the time he collected his Man of the Match award and then sent it to the dressing room. Let's watch how the players did celebrated with Paul Kubasi in the dressing room. <laughs> So that was how the players they celebrated with Paul Kubasi for his Man of the Match award in the dressing room. And that is all about Paul Kubasi in today's video. And now we are on the side of Frankie Dion de Somefeda and we all know Frankie is injury and this one we got this news from Fernando Polo and they said Frankie Dion is expected to be ready for the Champions League quarter final first leg on April 9th or April 10th. So that is what we received from Fernando Polo that Barcelona quarter final first leg we are all waiting for the team that will meet them but from Fernando Polo they say that for our first leg in the quarter finals it's likely Frankie Dion will be available to play that game against whatever team we will meet them in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League and this looks to be a good news on the side of Barcelona and also on the side of all Barcelona fans and all the lovers of Frankie Dion because we met Frankie him in the midfield and from Fernando Polo they said that Frankie Dion could be available for Barcelona first leg in the quarterfinals in the UEFA Champions League and now here comes the side of what UEFA will do in the Champions League starting from next season and from Mundo Deportivo they said that starting from next season UEFA will start using Using software for the champion league draws it will no longer be done by hand so i believe a lot of you here have saw how uefa used to do their draws i mean quarter finals semi finals you know knockout stage that kind of way uefa used to do the draw you see somebody will be there picking the ball like the one you are watching on the screen and then open and mention the name of it it will not be done by hand again it's a computer who will do it like when you play fifa or ps that the, the same thing that computer do is the same thing what uefa will do starting from next season it will not be done by hand again i think that one will be very very good and also there will be no cheating in it because for me those who used to do it i don't believe in them so computer will be the one to do it next season that is what uefa will do starting from next season in the uefa champion league draws and that is the report we also received from Mundo Deportivo. And now we are on our warrior, Ronald Araujo. And you know, during yesterday's game against SSC Napoli, we saw Ronald Araujo bleeding close from his eyes. So we thought the player is going to be injury or is going to affect the player. But today, news have shown that the player is free. Not anything bad has happened to Ronald Araujo. And he's going to be available for Barcelona last game in La Liga. So Araujo 
is not injury the player is free it was just a hit that caused the blood to froze close from his eye but today news have shown that Arahu is not injury and he's going to be available for Barcelona next game and now here comes the benefit that I said in the beginning that Barcelona will get for qualifying to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League and it is said Barca will receive 10.6 million euros for advancing to the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals and I think this 10.6 million euros will help Barca a lot in the transfer market. So UEFA will pay Barcelona 10.6 million euros for proceeding to the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals. And so right now, Barcelona are also doing something special at the Munji Stadium, which is currently our home ground. That is the Munji Stadium in the Champions League. And as I said, Barcelona are unbeaten at the Munji Stadium in the Champions League. And I hope you all remember the scores Barcelona have scored in Champions League this season at the Munji Stadium. 5-0 against Royal Antwerp at home. 2-1 against Shakhtar Donetsk at home. 2-1 against Porto at the Munji Stadium at home. 3-1 against SSC Napoli which we played yesterday. So this is in the UEFA Champions League. All the matches that Barcelona have played at the home grounds we are undefeated and we are making Muji Stadium a fortress for our opponents who come there in the UEFA Champions League this season. As I promised I'll show you the videos of how the team bars did arrive for yesterday match against Napoli and as you are watching please make sure to subscribe to receive more Barca news like this and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. But until then Vizca Barca, Vizca Catalonia. I thank you guys a lot for all of your support and also for watching this video. Thank you.